Bill Cosby is 81 years old. He faces a maximum sentence of up to 30 years in prison. It very well could be the rest of his life behind bars. You know, for many people, this is seen as the first criminal courtroom victory in the Me Too movement. And although it's only about one victim, Andrea Constant, for the more than 60 accusers who have come out against Cosby, this is a day they have been waiting decades for. This morning, Bill Cosby, back in the spotlight. The legendary 81-year-old actor and comedian waiting to learn his fate after being convicted of three counts of aggravated indecent assault during a retrial in April. Andrea Constand, the woman at the center of the case, testified that Cosby drugged and sexually assaulted her in his home in 2004. I was crying out inside in my throat, in my mind, for this to stop, and I couldn't do anything. Once known as America's dad... Dad's got a point, Mom. There you go. Thank you, son. Cosby could soon be part of America's prison system, with each count carrying a maximum of 10 years. State guidelines suggest a sentence of roughly one to four years as the more likely scenario. Other possible sentencing outcomes include house arrest or probation. It all depends on the judge, Stephen T. O'Neill, who can consider a number of factors, including Cosby's age and health, but also his lack of public remorse and attacks on O'Neill by Cosby and his team. Just last week, Cosby's wife, Camille, filed an ethics complaint, claiming O'Neill was biased against her husband. Constand is one of more than 60 women who have made allegations against Cosby, ranging from groping to rape, many claiming Cosby had drugged them. Cosby has repeatedly denied all of the allegations against him, only Constance claims have led to criminal charges. She could deliver a victim impact statement during the sentencing. It's unclear if five other women who testified at the trial will be allowed to weigh in as well. I waited 32 years to speak, mm -hmm. 32 years. And what's 30 years compared to years and decades of pain that he has put on so many women? Judge O'Neill has ruled that accusers not involved in this case will not be allowed to give statements. As for the defense, in the state of Pennsylvania, you can't file an appeal until after the sentencing. You can definitely expect his defense team to do that as soon as they can. Guys, back to you. All right. Stephanie Gosk for us there in Norristown. Steph, thank you.